Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 6th of July 2023. Is that right? The 6th? I thought yesterday was the 6th. Did I give some misinformation when I was saying the date? I can't really remember. Anyway, today is, according to my computer, let me put my glasses on. Yes, it does say the 6th. Um what's going on um well it's uh, going to be sunny i can see it's just 7 a.m but the sun is already start shining through the window so it's going to be another day of sunshine after uh, some heavy rain yesterday here in bangkok and uh let's see how the day works out i can you might hear the sound of uh, my cat's tail bashing against the the door the, of, of the computer room here um, because uh, he's remonstrating. I'm not allowing him outside. He's got to go to the vets this morning. You might also hear the sounds of him vomiting. I can't do anything about it, so uh, I'll just let him get on and vomit and bash the door as he really wants to go outside. I always let him out in the morning. Uh, he didn't come in until the evening yesterday because he knew that he could avoid going to the hospital. <laughs> it's it's just he has a really a, a, a keen awareness of uh, when he can go to the hospital when he when it's impossible and uh, they're not open till nine a.m. so I've got to keep him in uh, for at least another uh, hour and a half or so before we can get in the car and head off for his treatment which he hates. Um, research from UCL suggests that. Uh, sleep is equally as important, well, certainly as important as exercise. Um, you need the combination of both. Uh, if you just exercise but don't sleep enough, um, you will also suffer cogn cognitive de uh, decline as you age into your 50s and 60s. Um, and that's important for my audience to understand because mo many of you fit into that age group. Um, yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, of course, all of these things are connected, right? There's diet, there's sleep, and there's activity. And we need to balance all of these in reasonable amounts. I've been not been doing enough exercise recently, that's true. Uh, hopefully now that I've uh, stopped working so much for the next few months, I guess, I will um, pick up my exercise and hopefully sleep better as well because of it. Right, shall we get on with a game of Sudoku? Um, I'm going to start with nothing easy, but I just start with what I can see. This is the Guardian hard level game, of course. I'm going to start in a New York style. Uh, I just see the 1 and the 9 blocking across here, so I know that these squares are 1 and 9. I don't know what it means, but I know that this is 1 and 9. So we'll be left here with... Um, two, five, and seven. So we got the fives blocking down like so. That's going to be a five, and we will have two and seven in those squares. Does that mean anything useful? Uh, oh, look, there's an early discovery. It looks like there are no sevens on the board. I, I was just looking for a seven to match up with it. I don't see one. I see a two. There's only one two. Okay, twos are in those squares, and there is there are no sevens. Okay, it's one of those kind of games. Gotcha. Right. Oh, now let's. In that case, hmm. Okay, we've got eight blocking up across here and across here, so we'll get an eight into that square. We have six blocking down. I still can't get the hang of this mouse. Six blocking down here. Six across here and across here. There's a six. If you hear the sound of a kitten meowing, that's not mine. That's my neighbor's kitten. nine blocks down here and nine blocks across here so we can get ourselves a nine there one 
one blocks all the way to the bottom here so there's a one uh, right one blocks across here right and one blocks down here so one is in one of these two squares let's take that across like this one blocking across here and one blocking across here so now we can get our one here and of course we know this is a nine because we said what the one and nine blocking across there so now we've got a nine here and we've got nines across the middle we'll get one there Okay, missing numbers in this column are 4, 7, and 9, and we've got 4 and 9 in the same row, so that's our first digit, 7 then. And now we have 8 blocking here and 8 blocking here, so that's the 8 in this row. And we have eight up here, eight down here. And eight across here and across here and down here and up there. And eight like this. So eights are now finished. Uh, we have one blocking this square and one blocking this square so in this row there's the one and then we have one down here one up here and across this row and this row to get a one there we also have ones going up here and up here so there's digit one and we can get another digit one in that square there and where is the there's one more I think or at least one more anyway okay that was the last one Uh, right, we have three blocking these squares and three blocking this square and three blocking this square. So in this row, three must be there. And we have three across these rows and three up to the top. And that means three is one of... Th oh, actually three. <laughs> we've got a blocking three here as well, so I can place the three there. And that's going to put a three up there, isn't it? I, was, I, I didn't realize that we could actually place this one. Now I see that we can. Seven blocks up here. So seven is either in this square or this square. It means it can't be here. So that's going to be our seven. This will be our two. Two down here. And down here will give us 
2 in that square, 2 blocking across here means that's a 2, 2 back this way and across this way means that's a 2. And the last digit to get here is a 3. 3 also blocks across here, we can finish off the 3's with this one. Uh, missing digits here look to be 4 and 9, and so over here, oh yeah, I didn't need to do all that, <laughs> I just, there's just one missing, like there's one missing here as a 7 as well. Wasting energy, looking for things when I don't really need to, 7 blocks up here, that's going to give a 7 in that square, 7 blocking this square, 7 blocking this square, and 7 blocking this square, so in this row, there's our 7, now there's only one digit missing in this column, which is a six, I think. Right, uh, not much more to go now, is there? Um, two and five block across here, that means those squares contain two and five. This then will have to be six. Okay, so now we have seven across here, across here and up there, so we can place seven in that square. Two blocks this square here, so along this row there's the two. We'll finish this row with a five. And we also need a five to finish this block. Five goes up here with a five across. Five is there, five across this way and 5 up here, there's a 5. Two blocks up here, there's our 2. And we're missing 4 and 9. We're missing 4 and 9 down here, we're missing 4 and 9 up here. Seems to be a popular combination. Alright just one empty square here um, that's a 4 as well so now we've got the 4 going up here and up to the top here excuse my poor mousing 4 across here there's the 4 4 across this row and this row there's our 4 4 down here gives 4 in that square excuse me and then we're looking for a 9 here 9 going up gives us 9 in that square we need a 9 to finish that block there and and here we are looking for a seven to finish the row and we still need a seven up there for this column um, what are we looking for a two to finish the column we also have two blocking up here like this so there's our two and now six is all we need to finish the game that's our hard level guardian Sudoku puzzle for Thursday the 6th of July. I'll be around for more uh, Sudoku puzzles today. Bye bye.